what grinds my goth is the way we look at mental health and the stigma of young men in our community talking about these things. And what I mean by mental health ranges from men talking about anxiety, it might be depression, or it might be more long-term mental health issues such as schizophrenia, eating disorder, bipolar disease, or anything along those lines. And this whole idea that men in our community aren't able to talk about those things or talk about those emotions. Essentially, girls are told that they can talk about their emotions because of our ascribed gender roles that women are more emotional, so they can talk about these things, whereas men are told that they can't that they can't cry, if they have got any issues, they should deal with them themselves. Bottle things up rather than releasing whatever's on their mind or releasing that negative energy. From a very young age, we're raising our daughters in one way and raising our sons in another. Through the conversations we have with our children, um, through the roles that we tell them to play, through the toys that we give them, through the movies that we show them. And what I feel our community needs to do is take that stigma away from men talking about those things. I hear some ridiculous things about what people think mental health is associated with in our community. It's a Western problem and that because we have now moved to the West we've now taken up these issues like mental health and it's not real, it's not something that we have. It's because they've got nuzzard on them, they've got bad gutum, um, black magic, all those ridiculous ideas and giving people the label of they're crazy Nobody's going to want to be with them, nobody's wanna, going to want to marry them. Obviously that's a huge issue. Our community doesn't understand mental health enough. And it does start with us as individuals within our own homes. How do we talk about these things? Do we encourage our family members, our sons, our brothers, and our elder generation of men to talk about their emotions? Are we encouraging that? There are a lot of charities. There, there's the Seek Helpline that I know are trying to tackle this issue, but in a wider perspective, the Samaritans, offer confidential advice and confidential help if anyone does want to talk to anybody. Rethink Mental Health, which are trying to tackle this issue and are starting to try and tackle this issue in the South Asian community. There's also Mind as well, which is a huge charity trying to change how we look at mental health. Sometimes it's not about giving the best advice or giving a solution to a problem. Sometimes people just need someone to listen to. If there's something you want to get off your gears, then come grind your good at Nordjavani. Subscribe!